let's open the meeting up. Let's do the pledge. to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Did he say he wasn't going to be here this week? No, I thought he was coming in. Oh, okay. On February he wasn't coming in. Okay. Right? No. Yeah, 7th of February. Right. But he said he, he didn't say anything about missing tonight. <coughs> I don't think so. Right. Or did he say he would it's see us on eight? Or did he say he'd but see us on eight? Give me a minute, Marie. Yeah. But he yeah. left well, when he left on uh, left last week. I remember saying to him, "Have a safe trip uh, Friday." So maybe he is gone. Yeah. yeah. He he back maybe he's back. Mm -hmm. he's back on the eight. One, he comes in. Because I remember saying that to him. Safe trip. He was going to Disney World and stuff. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, you guys got the Z. We can do the Z. Um, we got the water department coming in. Brenda was supposed to be for seven. Now she's going to be here after seven thirty. So the water department was supposed to come in for seven thirty. So hopefully he'll come in. Did we ask Bruce to come early? Couldn't get a hold of him. I tried. He said he might try to get here before seven. There he is. There's Robert. Bob, we're just discussing. It's all people. that. I'm sorry. We didn't say anything. We bad. didn't know if you were coming or going. Oh, ne next Monday, I'm in Florida. The next right. Monday. <laughs> next Monday. The seventh or eighth, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Seventh or uh, it's the eighth. It's Monday anyway. Just Monday, right? Where's your papers? Do I have both of this? I might have. Oh, we're on camera now? Oh my God. Some days we are. Some, some days we are. are. It depends. Yeah. It's a senior citizen. It's not consistent. You know that. So. Hmm? Yeah, it depends. You do that and then you get this <laughs> GPA board. Um, <laughs> Ooh, did I give you a copy last week? Right? Okay. Well, all right, so what we're going to do now to fill in, we're going to do the planning board. Okay. Barbara? What? We're going to do the planning board. Okay. I gave you all a copy from last year's and this year's just so you can refer back. Make it a little easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you're right on the ball there, David. So. Steve's going to represent him, right? Yeah, Kevin. Kevin, I'm sorry. Yeah. I keep calling you Steve even on the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kevin's going to represent the planning board. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're just. Uh, three lines, really. Uh, I don't know why. There was a, there was fisticuffs last year over under whose purview the central. And that's a separate desk. line. That, that's a separate line item, and we went through that already. Right. With, uh, so just I don't know why they printed this out that way, but that's not part of the planning board's uh, budget. You can see the planning board budget as it's totaled up there is just those three lines: 580, 590, and 600. So. Uh, we're not, we don't have any changes uh, to our wage or salary figures. We're still trying to hire a uh, planning board clerk part-time. Uh, so we're holding on to that, uh, keeping that salary uh, uh, or clerk wages rather item uh, as it was uh, for the last uh, year. Um, we don't anticipate any big changes in terms of uh, big developments going in or anything, so we don't uh, see any need to increase our expenses uh, as far as the budget goes, and the salary is what it is. And if you notice, the salary is reduced from last year because the stipend was re reduced back to 500, 500, 500 apiece yep. Yep. at the town meeting, so that's mm -hmm. why you see a reduction in that line. Mm -hmm. So Kevin, you're gonna have more than enough in the clerk wages. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be funny. How often does the plan the board meet? Monthly. First Wednesday of every month. Twelve times unless there's something special going on, right? Mm-hmm. Anybody got any questions on That's actually slightly lower than the FY. Budgeted, I think, for wages, but since you haven't spent it the yeah. first part of the year, it should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. 
Well, they're going to they're have a lot of extra money, right? Because that click. Well, this year they will. Yeah, this, well, this well, it, yeah. it also depends on how much catch up work is going to be remaining once they get somebody on board, because mm -hmm. the work, some of the work's getting done by the by, by the planning board members. Kevin. Yeah. And Sharon. <laughs> yeah. But, Kevin uh, and Shannon. Have been but I, I, but uh, I know it's hard to keep up with all of that. With the minutes and stuff. Oh, yeah. More than that. No, that's the, the, the filing of all the filing plans. Filing of the plans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and re reordering a lot of stuff because a lot of the uh, files are and have been for years kind of uh, disorganized. So it's, they're getting back together again slowly but surely. But it'd be nice to have a clerk who could do that, uh, come in on a dedicated day and just go through it and straighten things up. So, is it? You got an hourly rate for her? Uh, yeah, there, there is an hourly rate uh, that's been approved by the select board. Do you know how much that is? I, not a fan. Not a fan. It's, it's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $14. They hired somebody, but she never even showed up. Yeah. She went up to Maine, I heard. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, she likes something. It must have been quite an offer then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anybody have any questions on, on the planning board budget? Somebody want to entertain a motion to accept it? I'll make a motion. motion. How so? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Kevin. Thank, Thank you. you very much, guys. <clears throat> you guys got the ZBA board? From I think I gave you a copy of last 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 week, right? Mm -hmm. Gave it to us last week. I have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I hear just some other kind of thing. Some of the troops out looking for me. Well, I was gonna call just to. <laughs> no, I'm coming. I don't know about sending troops, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my job. Mm. I, to yeah. I have zoning enforcement officer. I don't see ZBA. Well, that's what I meant, the enforcement officer. Okay, yeah. Here, Bob can put it on my shoulder on that one. holes in my stuff mm -hmm. it's got my binder for this year. I gotta get clean. What's that? I gotta get my act together too. Anyone needs a three hole punch, I brought my own. So I'll be good. Mm -hmm. Did I get that from the kids last week? Zoning enforcement office, that's what I meant to say, not the um, not the zoning board of appeals. Can you shed some light for me what that person does? Enforces the bylaws of the town. As far as zoning practices. This? Copy. Is there something that initiates an enforcement? Uh, usually a complaint, generally. Complaints, uh... Does the building inspector sometimes Yeah, he works notify? with the building inspector. Yeah. Like, running an illegal business, or too many cars, junk, uh, <laughs> Bylaws, all, all that stuff. I don't know if he, I don't know if he does noise or not. But I don't think we have a noise uh, ordinance. There is, there is a zoning uh, bylaw with a uh, parking that relates to noise. Did everybody get a copy? Yeah, I'm looking over her shoulder. Okay. No, do you have one? No. Oh. I, I he, guess I, he can have mine because I'm going to get it. I, I, I might have so left it at home. I, yeah. I'm still looking. Bob, you got one? Yeah. Bob, you got one? Yeah, I got it. Huh? Yeah, I got it now. Okay. I thought I printed them off last. Um, I think I got one from last week. Um, I think 
That's why okay, I'm going see, down. Do you see the reduction in the in the um, salary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the new salary, seven for seven seven thousand a year versus the ninety seven. Why is that? Why? They thought it was too much. So who, when they hired the who new who reduced it? Selectman. So last year when they when they hired when they put the guy on Nick Thormo when they put him on yeah they thought it was too high for the for the amount that had to be done so they reduced it down to seven so who he, and and he, he's and he was new at it too so so Nick is his only enforcement yeah. officer yeah now the question the question I have remember when we spoke to fire last week and, yes and they were up in the air about what the the grades were going to be and how they max out and all this other stuff yeah mm -hmm. how does this have an impact i know this is a stretch but i'm just trying to think outside the box <clears throat> does this get us into a, a box that all of a sudden uh, the board of selectmen decide that they're going to now alter some salaries just unilaterally. Uh, with, well, what are they? What are they basing this thing on? Because I'm just wondering if we're going to see fire and police. I'm guessing experience. Experience. I know and, that. And they, so, and they figure oh, how many what numbers? Yeah, right? I mean, where, where are they coming up with? I mean, yeah. if, we, if we get into this whole thing with fire and police, that they have the that salary board and everything they're talking about. Well, the police have a contract, so okay. that's so. Okay. So police, it's not going to impact. They they do their own negotiations because they're unionized. But that's only the. Oh, the officer. This, this, the officer not the, not the, it doesn't include the others. Either. This was based on office. How much he was doing for office work? Right. Had, I was there the night of the meeting. Okay. So, um, how much he was doing for paperwork? Right. Office work, and then how much? How many inspections he was going out with? Okay. And how many calls he had? Right. They had to print out what was done for the last year, and they came out that was way too high. So that's why they reduced it to seven. And it's a new individual as well. Okay, that's fine, but <clears throat> that isn't the point. Where you but skip but the end. point is, is what, what are they basing this on? They they have to come up with some sort of a, a salary standard or or a. Or a uh, they did a it by the hour. They, they, the they did it in an hour. They had an hour. Mm -hmm. They figured it out on a based in an hour. And what okay. was okay. That's what fine. was being what was being done yeah. through the town? When they look back. All right. Now I'll go to the next question. Yep. Yeah what determines what the hourly rate is for this guy that i can't tell you i don't know i they discussed that at the meeting but i don't remember what it was but is this all going to change if they do this personnel board thing yeah that's what that's the only thing i'm hung up no, i can't answer that because i mean this is I kind of like what, a separate I know what you're saying i mean yeah if the personnel board is going by a scale and they're going to have things according to that then are they going to just come in and say, well, you know, you don't work that many hours, so we're going to reduce your salary. What's going to happen? But this isn't like they don't have like set hours. Same with the bill inspector, gas inspector. They kind of go by by the calls. So, and that's one of the things that honestly. But they're not covered by the personnel board. Yeah, they are, but under see, it's different see, because see, they go by here's calls. What's, here's here's what's weird. They don't about go by. It. They're not working by the hour like most departments are. Are you talking about fire? Or are you talking about the zoning enforcement? Zoning, office? zoning enforcement. Zoning officer. So, so, so they're the not planning paid by board. The, they're not paid by the call. They're just paid. Quarterly. Not by the call, by just by what they have to do. Yeah. Right. So they're paid quarterly, as if. So here's where this is kind of weird. I think the zoning is. is was it's the zoning like enforcement was the zoning enforcement officer usually elected, but then it was vacant, so then they appointed. No, it's always been appointed. Because that's bizarre that it's a salary where it's appointed and it's not full time. You don't need someone full time. I know you don't. I I know you don't. But usually salaries. Usually, if someone is only part time, you you set a hourly wage and then whatever they work, that's what they get paid for. So. But it's well, difficult because of how they do it. And well, I think it's kind of like. It's not like hourly. Um. Work. By, the, by what they have to do. Well, like say, like say the assessors have a set number of hours that they they're, work. They're elected. Well, I know, but get, but they they get the paid method, whether they get whether they work it or not. He gets paid whether he works that estimated amount or not. Right. It's based on the anticipated. Well, exactly. like the like the animal control officer. How many calls does she go on? You can't plan. It's, it's, it's a flat fee. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can't plan. Take how it many. or leave it. You know, mm -hmm. same with the gas, the gas and the electrical. Same thing. 
I'm not challenging what they're saying. Oh, no, 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 no,
And I'm like, I mean, technically it's not even a legal position, which is something that we you might don't, you don't confuse the issue, do you? I know. <laughs> it's, it's not legal because why? Because it's not elected and it's not a, and it's not one of the mandatory classifications that's listed under the personnel bylaw. So either it's supposed to be an elected position, and that's why it was a salary in the first place. To okay. point, it is, it is a position that's mandated by the zoning bylaw. Right, okay. and it's appointed. Yeah. All right, then we just we might want to send a note to the personnel committee that since the way the current bylaw reads, there's no authorized positions except what's in the personnel bylaw. It's a disconnect between the zoning bylaws and the personnel bylaws. So you may want to let the bylaw committee know as well. I it's spoke to the personnel and they're, they're going through everybody's, Are they're you going still through on the it? whole, they're going through all the I know job the, I know they're going through the job descriptions, but we probably want to alert the cognizant committees. You're on the bylaw committee still, right, David? Yes, I am. Okay. Are yeah. you guys still meeting? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you may want to bring it up at the next meeting that there's a disconnect between the personnel bylaw and the zoning bylaw, which the zoning bylaw calls. I think that would fall more into the personnel board than us. They're supposed to be working. They're supposed to be working between the two, and they're supposed to be severing that off so it's clear. And that's what, because I talked to, talk to the chairman, and that's what she's working on. Like this kind of stuff here. Right, but I think it would be good for both of them to be aware of it and for them to decide, at least be communicating about the fact that the personnel committee might want to get together prior to the annual town meeting and update this to include the position that's required by the zoning bylaws it would just be good practice yeah. even if they I'm don't get all of the, even mm -hmm. if they don't get all of the changes done let's get I don't this think one they're going to get them all done well I know well I know they're not going to get them all done in yeah. time for the annual time pretty involved. this one's fairly easy I would think mm -hmm. to define all right well that that will be you mean as far as job description no or what no just that it's at least an authorized position so we've got a we've got a planning or zoning bylaw that this requires us I thought he was saying it was. It, this is, definitely. According to bylaw. I'm, what I'm trying to say is that the two bylaws are in conflict. Okay, so the zoning bylaw states we have to have a zoning enforcement officer. But it's not one of the positions that's authorized by our personnel bylaw, and it, which okay. very specifically states that it applies to everything except elected positions and the school. Those are the only two exemptions mm -hmm. that are considered okay. by this. I run that by him, but I don't want to get, I'm not going to get involved in that. No, we are not going to get involved in that. But I run that by him for that, sure. That's a valid point. Thank you. Yeah. We can only do so much. No, but we can let, uh, let the two well, just know that's that what need I to fix do. it. Yeah. So how did he come by this? Did the zoning person, well, did they, um, zoning enforcement, who was the pr previous zoning enforcement officer? Gary Simononi. Simonelli? Sim Simononi. Simeone. Simeone. Depends how you want to pronounce it. Um, all right. So he left and somebody else had to be reappointed. So somebody they, else had to be appointed. That's right. Okay. Okay, so anyone, uh, any, any other questions on the... I'll make a motion that we accept the budget as, uh, as submitted. I'll second. All in favor? All right. Any further questions? Okay. That's a done deal. Dog sat there and just looked at me. Oh, we're doing it. Brought a munchkin Oh yeah. Okay, three minutes. Three minutes to water the property. Last time I signed in, I got 20 years okay. in the service. What am I signing? Hello. Hey, Kermit. Hello. Welcome to the party, Kermit. Just sign up on the address up there. Yeah. Hey, you 
seven thirty to post the meeting. I know you were supposed to be seven. Do you want to try to speed date yours? This is for you. I didn't find very If I support this, I get unlimited water. Is that the deal? <laughs> you, 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 you got low water. <laughs> we want to try to speed through Brenda's? You got your hair, too. Keep on No, I want it. Like I you're closer for some more. You need to have me cut your hair. Oh. You're fine, Dad. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> when we deployed to Egypt, the, the, the boys came to me, I cut everybody's hair. Are you? I'll still be on the lookout for donuts for you. Very good. A much better with a clipper than a scissor than I have to. Uh, well, you could have done a good <laughs> job. <laughs> you were careful. Tax collector. What? Tax collector. Come by. What? Plain ones. Really? That could go and have some different affordable. That's why I didn't buy them from Dunkin' Donuts. Sorry. I wanted to buy them from a natural real bakery that no. doesn't throw 14 chemicals in it. Well, the thing with Dunkies is that they're frozen. After they're made, they're frozen and then frozen. <coughs> That's why they taste so poopy. Huh. I can understand why they fill most of them. The way I managed to quit most donuts is getting them at Mrs. Murphy's in Westfield. Or is it south? Of it? I don't know, but it's out that way. Yeah, we're going out there. Yeah, good. And, uh, they're so good you don't eat another donut mm -hmm. yet, mm -hmm. ever, unless it's coming from there. But those are like a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Um, Mrs. Murphy's. It's on. It's, it's in Westfield, Mass. Yeah. yeah. Definitely worth googling. That's a water department. I used to have a driver that when I worked for Scholastic that would always bring back yes, Mrs. Murphy's for us when, uh, when we had a run out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is general. No, no, it, it, says, water it says general, but it's water. Well, I've got that already, so. Well, where is the other one? Yeah. Yeah. So this one's, water this water one's water. higher. So what's this water in? Oh, this was last year. Yeah, I got last year's water oh, in there. Right. Don't That's get that confused. Mm -hmm. Just so you can reference it. All right. That's so efficient. Yeah, I brought a bag, but we're trying. They're going to be coming in. <coughs> they got the commissioners coming in as well. Yeah, really? Last year we didn't have them, so this year we have them. Okay, does Bob have got one? Give that to Bob. Department, does everybody, this is Bruce Clark, the superintendent, Bob, everyone else knows him, but Bob, Bob's a new Bob Fowler, he's new on our board. Hi, Bob. And then we got uh, Don Taft, you know, Bob, he's one of the water commissioners. Mm -hmm. And then we got Kermit Eaton, mm -hmm. he's new on the, uh, as a commissioner. And then Bob's on the commissioner too, but he's gonna abstain. Right, Bob? You are? He's he has to abstain, abstain. Uh, abstain from everything. I'm advisory board to do the water right now. Okay. All right, Bruce. What do you got for us? Same thing. It's in front of you, budget. Control. Okay. Let's do it. The only thing that's changed is salaries. The uh, department expenses have stayed the same as last year. Salaries are going up three percent. Okay. Well, you've calculated them to go up at three percent. Yes, I did. 
and I will ask on the floor also. So you recommend? Okay, so you're just recommending yourself that you want three percent. No, I requested it. That's okay. what I'm Same requesting. thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's not etched in stone yet. Okay. No, did not you, at all. Did you figure that in already at the three? Yes. Okay. The three percent figures are in here. Yeah. Three percent, then request the three percent. Same thing. Same number. Yeah, we see it. Okay. <clears throat> we did. I did put a statement on the back of the salaries, the grade change, administrative assistant, and for the superintendent. But we don't know where that's going yet. I don't imagine it's going to make much difference. Possibility of an article for the truck. Article for a truck? Yeah. How old your truck now? Oh, 03. Oh, 03. How many miles on it? 100,000. Possibility of an article. Yeah. Possible, yeah. <clears throat> Why do you want a new truck? Rocks get into it. Body? Yeah, body. Yeah. Well, frame. Well, it's body right now, but the body is <clears throat> making part of that truck. I'll put cab corners on it, I'll put rocket panels on it already, and they're working on the second time around, so. Would you keep the back end of the truck? No, the back end's worse than the front end. I mean, no, all your compartments? No, they're just worse. I just, yeah, that's I the part that's, up. that's... So you put a whole new, up. you need a whole new truck then? Yeah. What's, what's the estimated cost? You I figure? put down 35. 35. It's right there on the sheet. Yeah, I'm making my own special notes here. So have you already looked into these? Just, uh, no, see. I have I haven't studied. I just went on like uh, what is it, Plymouth County? Uh, they do a municipal vehicle purchase for the state, and that's kind of the sum I came up with. It's a cheap truck, right? What it is? Thirty-five is a new truck, right? Yes. New truck and body, the combo. Yeah. Com yeah. Right, yeah. right. And it needs like a one of those, like, in essence, like tool box. Yeah, what, what it is today, yeah. I mean, we, we may, the commissioners may or may not go for it. I don't know. It's it's up to them, you know. I'm just making my recommendations. And we'll see what uh, things look like. Okay. <clears throat> when I ask a loaded question, is there any way to get a used one? Uh, I have to ask that question. I don't mind that question. <laughs> I don't. I'm a used person myself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, there is. Yep. Uh, money can be spent either way. Okay. You know, hard to find a mechanic's body that's used. You know, something. But yes, it is. It's okay. just difficult the way towns buy things. Right. You have to. Anything over thirty-five thousand dollars has to go to bid. Anything <clears throat> under thirty-five thousand has to go to quote. Which means you have to hold it while I quote it without deposit money because I can't give them a deposit out of my pocket because you can't give somebody a deposit because it's an open quote. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult to do. I wish it was easier. Because we've heard the same <clears throat> thing from fire. It's looking for the chief and yeah. we've raised the same question. It's difficult to do and I, I truly wish it was easier. Yeah. You know? yeah. It should be easier than it is because it isn't the way it is. No. You can buy you. You can. But you have to look, find. I need to look into that procurement right You have to find a particular person who's willing to say, okay, I'll hold it for you. Yeah, that was the big thing he said. Same thing, right? And some will. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. mm -hmm. We've done it in the past. Not necessarily the water, but the town has. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they bought new, new trucks mm -hmm. down the highway. Look at one now. Right. I'm not saying with the fire department, they do the same thing. So how about mechanically? It's in good shape mechanically? As long as it keeps going on wood, it's fine. <laughs> Been there many trips. Is that for service or? Sir, yeah, one when, when I start skipping. Yeah, okay, so you do All the that. time. Okay. No, it's, it's. Um, <clears throat> I can't say it's been a good truck. Do you know, what, do you know, right? do you know what we've yeah. put into it in the last like year or two? A uh, year or two, not that much. Prior to that, I put about 3,000 in the engine. Took on water one day, just mm. sitting in the well, head gasket. Mm -hmm. Want to start it up, locked, mm. fluid locked, you know. And then after that, it was an intake manifold, and it, it's just, it's the rot that's 
Yeah. You can't you can't no, knock a you rock can't. once it sets in. Yeah. Put brake lines in too, right? Put brake lines in it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's typical. That's rock. What do you uh, foresee on the water water rates, Bruce? Any increases in the future? This this budget, <clears throat> no. Okay. As long as the water haulers, as long as we keep selling water to them, our budget will be, you know, sustained the way it is. Now, what do they get for? for what, how does that work? Per thousand or? Per yeah, same thousand? as same as everybody. They run through a meter and they pay more than you do. They pay five dollars a thousand. You pay three fifty a thousand. Right. Yeah. Now, who is they? Whoever, <coughs> whoever has uh, what you want to say signed up to buy bulk water. Okay. I'm not going to eliminate somebody, but I can only take so many too. I'm right, right now, there's <coughs> basically two contractors, two haulers. Would this be a company like that, that fills swimming pools? Or exactly something like that? what it is. Exactly. exactly. What it is. What about chemicals? Are those are those stand pretty flat lined? Yeah, actually, it's all come down as the market fell. Yeah, everything fell. So that's good for us. Yes, the shortage. It's excellent. What about? Would you say you were working on something in the future? Some something that they. Uh, you were concerned about the magnesium. Yeah, I'm concerned about magnesium. Uh, something. This year, tests are okay. Uh, it'll happen in the future. It will. It's, it's going to happen. We'll be we'll be in here for. A, you know, a million and a half dollar project. No way to really predict when we're going to hit that threshold. Not really. I, I can't gamble on it. I can't guess at it, you know. Well, what determines when that's necessary? Manganese tests. Okay, so what would make you think? Well, because <coughs> East Brookfield's under a mandate already, and our wells are like a quarter mile apart. They're both groundwater wells. Uh, yeah, my caveat that they don't have is I can blend my water. I have four wells, they have one well. Mm -hmm. I can mm. blend my water. I have so some you've got wells one that's that clear. I have some wells that are better than others and I can blend my water. That doesn't mean DEP won't come out and say individual test, that well's too high. Right, and then mandate and, it. And mandate it. Okay, so it could happen, it might not happen. Yeah. Okay. So we shouldn't put the panic on that. No. Okay. <clears throat> And with all the news, we're not dealing with lead at all, right? No. My test for lead. Lead's on a three-year schedule. All yeah. well, the pipes, are, they're not lead anyway. They're not lead pipes, but that's lead right. in, in manufacturing of pipes. Right. You know, brass is in lead. Yeah. That's why we all want this no lead brass, which costs us a fortune. A fortune. But it's in the manufacturing process. But we, we raise the pH of the water so that the water's not corrosive. Water's corrosive. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. The lower the pH, the more you're going to leach out the impurities in the metals. The lead comes out. I was wondering also, you know, we test for that. It's a sad situation they're in out there, and honestly, somebody's going to go to jail over it. They need to. And it's not going to be the mayor. It's going to be the people with the licenses who ignored the tests, who didn't pull their whistle hard enough. As long as it's not Brookfield. Right now, that's what counts. <clears throat> I don't know. After you sign it, there, you get all the assignment, might be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke, Dave. We're, Which we're, trying, we're trying to promote this town as being a better place yeah. to live. This is no place to discuss my sign. <clears throat> one, Anybody? Per, one person's opinion. I was going to say. Well, this is a this is an advisory board. This isn't a this isn't a board Can I advise discussion. that really should be removed. not at this time. Yeah. No, you can because we're a financial. I'm advisory second this board. motion. <laughs> we're a financial. We advisory. haven't made a motion on that. We're not gonna. So, anyone have any questions on this budget? Bob, Barbara, what's up? Beth, Marie? questions on this? Okay. No, I see the recommendation. I know, I have a question. If we're ante anticipating, the, what is it, magnesium? Mag 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 magnesium. Is there any type of a strategy, if you sort of feel it's coming, that money is being sort of set aside? Or well, any, for do, we have, do we have that luxury? For a project of that value, I'm going to say no. No. You know? 
I mean, yeah. a lot of the department's probably sitting on $100,000 right now. But that doesn't go very far on a project of that magnitude. Right. You know? yeah. we, we, we do have, you know, we do have the space set aside, which when we put up a new standpipe 10 years ago in 2005, a year or two prior to that, we anticipated that we bought extra land so that when that project came forward, we were ready to go. Mm -hmm. We have that step in place already. We have our land for it. We have you know, the space available for it. Um, uh, when the mandates come down hard from the state, generally they have to fund some of the bigger ones or provide the funding for them. Yeah, it might be low interest loans, might be a very low interest loan with pot grant attached and we'll be applying for all of that mm -hmm. uh, if and when it happens. Could it mean a whole new building, a <clears throat> whole new process? It's, it's It'll mean a whole new budget and not just to pay for the treatment system. It'll be a maintenance issue. What about grants? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining they'll be there. Can't guarantee that. Right. All right. So we then the the, the one question I'd have is if, if do are we keeping an eye out so that if those grants are available even if we're not at the point of a mandate yet? Doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Mandated will come first. Got I it. found that out many times already. If Just you're not under a consent order. They tell you to go hike. Go to that line. Hmm. Got it. Bruce, are other towns on, have done this? Have they put in? Well, no, system? it's very new. So no, so no towns have a step put in a system. The that threshold they, level for manganese right. is a relatively new. It's, it's new. Okay. Now many of them have put in treatment systems, but not they weren't forced into it for for a mineral count. Okay. All right. So we'll make a motion to accept the water department's <clears throat> budget. As is in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. You second that, Paul? Who made the motion? I'll I'm asking it. someone to make the motion. I'll make the motion. Okay. Yeah. You want someone to second that? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Let's say. It's a minute to okay. show that, that so, he abstains, Bob. A uh, quick discussion on the 3% salary increase. Well, we're not going to discuss that right now. I mean, we don't know. Okay, so what are we voting then? We're to voting uh, on the budget minus, we can vote on the budget, but we're the not. The motion gonna, was to accept the budget right. as submitted. Minus, but we're second. not putting any, any in, increase in there at this time. So then if that's what we're voting, we need to specify what we're okay. voting. So are we voting only lines 10? Yeah, minus, the, we're going to minus the 3%, whatever that comes out to, and that's how we're going to vote. We well, don't that's know. not we what don't the motion was. Be. Well, we'll have to figure that out then. So then let's vote the motion. Well, well, you want me to make a new motion yeah. to, to accept the budget? <coughs> minus the tree. Minus the 3%. Correct. In salary. Salary only. Right. Right. Well, you can just use the FY16 numbers. They're right there. Yeah, because we haven't done any, we haven't, we're not well, doing I mean, any call. No, I know. That's fine. Are you, I, so are you, ex no. Um, so are you expecting to use, I'm looking at last year's budget. Well, it's right here, too. It's on, yeah. It. It's got right here. But <clears throat> right, but um, what I'm looking at is um, last year included temporary help. Mm -hmm. So you're including that again? Leaving it right in there. I just, yeah, spent, I just sure. spent some of it Friday. Yeah, okay. you should. All right. And your expenses are usually due to testing or? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a full value. I have a full breakdown of it in the office if you want to look at it sometime. That but would have, that would have actually been good to bring you know, so we um, could look at that. I mean, well, actually this is That's last year. That's, that's, yeah. Okay. Advertising. Didn't change. Testing. Okay. So, to be clear, the new motion is to accept the budget at FY16 level. Shall we only? Right. <clears throat> Where? 
with salary levels. At two, 2016. Okay, so someone may make that motion. <clears throat> then we can tally it up what the figure is after. Okay, he made the new motion. Who's seconding it? Who's second? Okay, all in favor? Just be clear in the motion, that's not my budget, that's your budget. Gotcha, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be clear, that's all. Well, I guess it depends how you look at it. No, I <laughs> submitted the budget. Right, I know that. Right, okay. So the motion really should and say that they deny your requested budget. <laughs> well, well, at this time, until we figure out what we're going to do for the COLA. We're taking all the budgets in as is without the callers because it gets too confusing. And then when we figure out what we're going to do, then we'll put it in. We'll have we'll have like one percent, two percent, three percent, half a percent. And we'll talk about it in another forum. But right. I'm going to advocate. But it gets that too confusing because you comes in at three, someone else is putting in a two, like last year. Right. For, total, for the sake of clarity, and, just too and much. I think we're going to get this discussion a lot. And I got I caught a lot of flack last year from the department heads, and I want to talk to this group about it. Is that in this coming year's um, budget that gets presented in the warrant book? I do want to submit it as department requested exactly the way they requested it, regardless of whether we thought it was, you know, in that, line we'll or not. Discuss. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to discuss and that. And then <clears throat> what we're recommending. Well, that's what your paperwork says. Requested. Right. Yep. So. That's why I said it should say denied requested. Well, we're not de we're not denying it. We're just right now at this time we're not putting the figures into that into the budget because that so level we figure hasn't out been determined where yet. we stand. Right. That's all. We're not denying anybody. We're just saying, just for easy math, and so we so we know where we're going here. So I know what happened last year. It was like everyone came in with different uh, colas and percentages. It was a nightmare. So we're just trying to keep it straight, and then we'll figure it out after. Okay. We got our budget, Bruce. We appreciate that. Thank you, commissioners. Brittany, did you give me a leave a budget in the box? I was swamped today. Swamped? Mm -hmm. swamped. Alright, give me a budget right now so I can run some copies. Okay. Oh, you made some? Oh, beautiful. Okay. You're off the hook then. <laughs> You're off the hook. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. I kind of screwed up, but also. Bobby, get one? Yeah. Bobby does not have one. Yeah, he's going to get one because I already gave him one. Bob, want me to make you one? No, don't worry about it. I just he gave you one. He can, oh, okay. I just gave him one. Too. Okay. Do you have one? I got one. He got one. We're okay. all good. We're all good. If someone wants mine, I, I only need to punch it in here. I really don't care for the paper copy. So. I could email it to you, Beth. Perfect. Um, that'd be great. Okay. Still I prefer electronic because I have this paper. You and me both. I thought, why are we emailing this? Well, the electronic, uh, the paper copy, you know, has the notes on it, though. So does the electronic if copy. You type them, you're typing them in on the side? No, but if she sends me her electronic copy, then I'll have the notes. Yeah, she's also included. Yep, that's you know, fine. All that, yeah. So. I'm sure she could send me all that lovely stuff. And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I don't know about if you know about the issue with mail. No. Is that straightened out this year, so that um, we don't run into that again? Well, I talked to the postmaster today, actually. So 
they've kind of tentatively agreed to let Brookfield Mail stay in Brookfield, so okay. hopefully this will alleviate <laughs> some of the problems, because we have major problems with people receiving their mail and not receiving it. Mm -hmm. What um, do you mean? What? Why would we have trouble with people not receiving mail? I don't know. That's what we're trying you mean to getting, figure You out. mean as far as not getting mail in general, you mean getting tax bills? Yeah, but then now they're saying, well, what else is not getting? So because clearly they're not getting their mail. There was like pockets of people not getting the mail, one of them being our selectmen, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can, I can speak on that. I, only, I don't get all of them. I don't know what happens. We got one, and it's a resident that's lived in town for 12 years. His bill came back to me and said no address exists. It is his address, and that is the correct spot to send it to. Hmm. So I don't know what's going on. <coughs> so but you got that other say. you got that <laughs> other problem straightened out right before, Which one? with the envelopes and this and that. Yes. Yeah, I did buy a lot of envelopes, so that's why half my budget is gone because I bought a lot of envelopes. So, do you want to stick with the? Because you upped my budget last year for for that for, purpose for the extra envelope. So, I mean, we can cut that back down to eighty four. That's I don't really. It's um, you don't anticipate any other expenses. That's just so that stamps and envelopes. Well, why don't you explain to us what, to the rest of them, what happened with when you had to buy, go buy another batch? Yes, we had a Major problem deal. with the post office delivering the pre-stamped windowed envelopes. So then I ordered them in November, and they didn't come until December 30th. So basically, that's all we did: December 30th and 31st with stuff envelopes, but. Um, it was a nightmare. So in the meantime, I had to go buy other stuff because legally I have to get the tax bills out. So I bought some. I was going to hand write them or put them on. So I don't want to ever run out because it is our only, basically our only revenue, right, coming in with um, the taxes. Cash flow. Basically, yeah. so <clears throat> we can't not do that. So. Now we do. We do have quite a bit of people paying online, which is helpful. But you still mail out to them. I, have, I still have the mail. Right. Out. So that's not gonna. Okay. So how would you feel about going to say like ninety four hundred instead of ten thousand? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Because and the reason why I'm saying that is that's what we spent last year. Yeah. Okay. Or that's what we. When that's they closed out the year, that's that's what the draft variance report okay. had you at. So that would get you. Kind of like right on, le unless they're planning on changing I have the, the postage. The biggest rate. commitment is coming out in about two weeks. Okay. And I don't know how many know how many bills that is, but it's usually about thirty six hundred bills. Right. So that. Yeah. But that's based on your, your last full long. year that we had, which would okay. have ended back in July first. And when the economy gets better, people buy more cars. So. Okay. There is that <laughs> one. So. <clears throat> that's good with me. That's fine with that. Okay. So then the other bump. Welcome. Vadar didn't move from over here. What's that? This collector software should be. So did everybody understand what we just did on line 410? Yeah, with the 9400. Right, we went down 600. Okay. I know that's not safe. I don't know why. No, it's not safe. I guess it didn't save, but I had that software should be 1600, right, yeah. 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 That's just yeah. That's okay. That's good. I think that's we'll good. We're going 94 on the 600. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. basically kind of splitting the difference. It that's needs fine. to be at 8400. And I 90, should have 90, extra, so. Right. And 9400 is what you spent that prior year, so yeah. it should get us about where we need to be. Okay. And then the software should be 6860, not 1000. Printed off the wrong the original and not the. What's no, you got it. Sixty-eight, sixty. It should be. Oh, you have sixty-eight. Sixty-eight, sixty. Okay, this one has a thousands. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's the new beta. And the new commitment should be on that. So that's.
What what's the number for for salary? Um, we don't have one yet, right? No, no, just without the without any percentage. How oh, was forty sixty? Forty. Forty six fifty one. one yeah. Now, uh, that's based on how many hours you're working, 30? No. How many you're working? How many hours you're working now? 35. And that's coming in on Friday? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going to clarify. Uh -huh. Okay. Because we bumped you up last year. Yes. How many hours do you work on Friday? Um, either five or six. Okay. And how's that? How's is that making it? That's making a big difference now, right? It's good. Well, one thing, it's not a lot of foot traffic, so the only ones here are me and Sandy and Karen. So, Sandy so you mean for kids. interruptions? Yeah. Okay. Really good. On Fridays. Yep. Okay. Now, just to, as my since I'm new to the committee, uh, with the envelopes and not getting delivered. Have you tracked the mail? I'm assuming it leaves here, then goes to a distribution center, and then comes back again, or something like that. Right. And that's where the jam up is. Yeah. Is that the distribution center? Like one of the assessors had theirs come back, and it was all shredded. So I assume that might happen to a few. I don't know. Um, so even though it's mailed in, even though it's mailed in Brookfield and it's going to Brookfield, it doesn't stay in Brookfield. It correct. goes out and then it's comes there. back. Then I think it goes to Shrewsbury, but I'm not positive. Could be. That. Could be. Goes to Shrewsbury and it could go to Boston. I mean, if there's something wrong with the address, then it comes. It says right on a request address, so that they send it back to me, so that I know that they didn't get it, and then I can figure out why. But these aren't coming back, so I, that's the problem. I don't know where they are. Has your account for Vader been implemented yet? Uh, and second, we're getting there. The first commitment on excise is going to be on Vader, so. Okay. Um, getting the information from Canada has been a problem, so. Because you can't just have, like, the balances. You need to have, like, the posted payments included, so. And all the reports I have on my side are all canned reports. So you probably would know, but there's a whole lot better than I do. But yeah, when you so we need, a, need a raw down. Gamma, it opens in an Excel, in Excel, and he says sometimes somehow when I go to save it, it corrupts it, and then when they get it, it's it's jumbled. So, but Mike uh, from DOR has been helping me a lot. So okay, um, so fa saving it has been corrupting it. Yeah, and you can't open a report. Camel, you can't run a report without it opening. You know, it, it no, I understand what you're saying, so but it, what it may <coughs> be is you may I save it as a CSV file and then somehow it gets lost in translation. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll get with you offline because there may be some yeah. ways to yeah. drop it into something else first and then turn it into a CSV. And it might, I guess, he's I talked to <coughs> Mike from Beta, there's Mike from Beta and Mike from Duar, Mike from Beta said everything was all set except for personal property, so that's okay. good, and we only have 50 accounts there, so okay. we can do that one thing we only have to By the way, is any other tax collect, any other towns having problems with mail? I don't know, because it seemed like it's just came to head in the last week or two, so I haven't really had time to... So, what you, now what are you working with the post office so that stuff doesn't go out? They can keep yeah. it in-house, so they yeah, don't have to send it out? Well, I don't know if she's going to try, because it's federally, the federal government is saying that they have to send it out, but she's going to see if she's It's no wonder, the, it's it's no wonder they're, they're in the it. red all the time. Huh? It's no yeah. wonder they're sending it. Seriously. <laughs> sending it out, sending it back, the trucks work, work back and forth. Yeah. I know what goes on. Well, actually, what's no odd about it, the reason why it is mandated, this, this sounds like it's bizarre, but since the trucks have to run anyway, and the people who are working locally are, are their hours are allocated based off of the inbound and the and yeah. and that distribution. They don't want to have to do the extra hours of temporary labor, even if it's only a couple of hours of sorting, local in the hub, because those trucks are going to run regardless of whether that mail goes out of town or stays in town, and that sorting is going to pretty much occur whether that hits the hub or not. I see. So, so there's, it's the same reason why FedEx, if you send something via FedEx, sometimes it'll go to 
if it's coming here, it might go all the way to, say, Cincinnati Hub or Louisville to come here, even though it's coming from like Western New York State. It's the same thing. That don't make sense. The stuff goes in, the, in there. They got to sort it anyway. So it gets in a bag, it goes on a truck, goes back out. It's on another truck, comes back again. But it, right, but it's machine sorted instead of having somebody sitting there and paying their wages to. But it's to already sort it sorted out. when it gets here. When she takes it down there, it's right there. It's not sorted in a bag. Well, when I was living in Shrewsbury, that whole, don't make sense. The whole big thing was to actually, they, in fact, they made an announcement that they were going to close that Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury facility. Like that. Mm -hmm. And that was a big uproar with McGovern and the whole bit and everything else. And we're going to lose 600 jobs because mm -hmm. there was some power play going that they were going to send everything to Boston yeah. to bring it all the way back. Yeah. And finally, some sense got come in. And now all of a sudden, no, we're not closing Shrewsbury. All the 600 jobs are safe. Now they're staying here. But I mean, it was. Why would you have stuff that's here going all the way to Boston and come back here? I can tell you, all the stuff that you think is being processed in Shrewsbury, it goes to Boston. Yeah, yeah. You'll see the stamp on the thing, yeah, Boston. Yeah. I can send Brenda a thing here from this post office. It'll still go to Boston and come back. Yeah. That's the way they offer it. That's all federal government at work. How do you well, work? if you fly Delta, you're definitely going through Atlanta. Well, that's exact. Well, that's what, I, that's what I was trying <laughs> to explain. Because they want you, to, vi you, want, they want you to visit going, their headquarters. And if, you, so, right? and then so you're, then if you're going southwest, you're either going through Midway or you're going yeah. through, um, oh, what's the one down south? Like, I don't know. Charlotte? Yeah, I think Charlotte. it is, yeah. It's the same It's the same. But deal. the post office did close a lot of places. I mean, a lot of Springfield's closed. Some processing half it now. Natick, I think, closed. But the one in Boston is huge, like three or four, four. Huge. Brent, you want to explain to the board the last page about, which is, what's that, just a breakdown with yes. VEDA, how mm -hmm. much we pay them? How, yep, that's what the, that is just so anyone watching out here can understand it too. The last page was, they, yeah, that's well, the they came down on their price. They were originally, I think, eighty nine hundred a year. Okay. So what's it actually, now? Sixty eight. What's thing, it now? Sixty eight. Sixty eight, sixty. So okay. they knocked it down like I think like sixty hundred. And this also includes the tax title portion. Uh, portion. Yeah. So we can we'll be doing our own. So right now. Yeah. Are we on a five year contract or? With Beta? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it'll say when did the contract start? There. This year? Is this the first year we're with them? Yes. Okay. As of January 1st, we've been working with And who was doing it before? Cam? Cam? Cam, but then. You the had a state, lot of problems. Well, the state said they weren't. Um, Compatible? No, they just weren't going to support, gonna support it, anymore. it anymore. It was funded through one of the te uh, in, um, community initiative grants. And yeah. they're not going to fund that grant anymore for anything that isn't. I can't remember exactly how they phrased it. Only Baker basically said that state's not in the IT business. Yeah. And laid off half of deal. <laughs> so. Okay. So that's a breakdown right there then. Okay. So the camera was in limbo big time and I wasn't really ready to wait for that. Well, I didn't want to wait for it because they were not that good to begin with. So. Who, camera? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard the well, town that, treasurer was talking. I think you're the only one that can relate to how painful Yeah, I actually, I actually came in when she first made the request to move over to Vadar. She, she did a live demonstration for me of exactly how slow the, the report process. run was. It's outrageous. Crazy. That's what the, the treasurer said too. Yeah. Well, no, the treasurer isn't using Cama though. She's she using was, she was. She 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 said she was real slow. She uses Cama in Eastbrookfield. Oh, okay. That's, she uses yeah. Beta. That's what okay. she yeah. yeah. So. But yeah, the we, you you click on the report button and and you walk away and go get a cup of coffee. And, and it's still ain't up there. Anybody, and anybody that faulted you for minutes. doing it is is wrong because you really and you can't do anything on the computer. Right. Because it's tied up. You can't do anything. 
so it's it's really embarrassing. Yeah. To uh, honestly, if I'd had that situation, I think years ago, I would have said you needed two computers so you could have one to do everything yeah. else and one to just run the camera yeah. on. And then there's a little slot in the back where you put the gerbil seat to and everything else. <laughs> oh. Make sure they keep running on the treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> Five miles a night. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So, but what you were saying is that it, we are going to get a, at least a small savings from the standpoint of any any tax title you need to process. We won't have to pay the fee. We can just run it out right straight out. Right now, it's about four hundred dollars a quarter. Okay. So we'll be saving that. Okay, so I mean, it doesn't totally mitigate the cost, but no. it certainly definitely it's, helps. It's like a quarter of it a year. Yes, that's not a bad thing. And came up for the went up, and I don't know the exact figure, but I'm sure it even doubled or tripled the amount that it was. So. Right, so that would wind up basically making it a wash, and this yeah. is at least integrated with the treasurer and the account. So yeah, that's overall, it's saying. a it's probably a win. Salary, we're all going to agree at a percentage rate at some point. The salary is going to be like set at town meeting. Well, we're going to. Well, before town meeting. We're going to do. Yeah, we'll see what it is. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm going to get changed on the floor. Right? Well, shouldn't this Veda stuff be up in line 410 or 420? The total budget? It is. It's under software. Do you have it? Four twenty. I'm sorry. Yeah. We only got. Uh, it should be. It's sixty-eight sixty. Yeah, it's sixty-eight sixty. It's right there. Four twenty. They broke it down per year. It's under collateral. Oh, that's the software. One that's year, one year. Thirty-four. That's. He broke it down by five years. I figured that yeah. would be the best way to do it than doing than front loading the eighteen. So, so it is up here. Yeah. Okay. That's the sixty-eight sixty. Line 420, right? Okay. All right, see if my math's right. So we're going to approve this budget at 50, 55, 9, 11. Does that, does that sound right? Minus 1,600, right, from the reduction? No, not That's minus 16, minus 600. So uh, 56, yeah, 56, 9, 11. 56, 9, 11, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what they did originally. Oh. Yeah, she started. Well, originally it was fifty-seven five eleven. Yeah. But then we reduced. We reduced, reduced it by sixteen hundred. By six hundred. Six hundred. Which gets you to fifty-six nine eleven. Nine eleven. Okay. Fifty-five nine eleven. Fifty-six nine eleven. We never said sixteen hundred lower. We said six hundred lower because she spent ninety ninety-three fifty. In, well, you wanted to FY go to fifteen. Did you want to go down to ninety-four hundred? She was willing to go to 94. I will go to 94. But that's what she spent last year. Yeah. So that gives us uh, 56,911 yep. on this budget. So I'll make a motion at 56,911. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 56,911. Okay. Thanks for me. Thank you, Brenda. Um, the only other thing was the tax title revolving account. Do you know about that, Beth? That they I know something about it. They passed that legislation to make that account. Oh, I haven't heard about that. Oh, okay. I can, I can dig into it if you want. <coughs> yeah, that. Okay. yeah. I don't have to do it though, so. What's, so the, what's the issue? No, they're just saying that we can, that they're allowing towns to make a revolving fund out of the tax title amounts because of the fees and interest. I assume it's the fees and interest because that 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 whole situation is confused enough in this town. We don't need it any more confused. <laughs> it, that's, that was my first thought. We don't need any that's more confusion my first on thought. that. Well, oh, we've got we've got to get our rest of our revolving accounts straight before we start before on we that one. Start a new one. I don't know if it was like something that we had to do that's what I did I'll know, check into so. it to see if it's a mandate or yeah. if it's just an option okay um, you know because it makes it makes sense to try to fund what you're doing from the fees and, yeah, and interest and advertise and there's a lot of pieces legal fees yeah. Right. yeah yeah but the, but the flip, but the flip side of it is is that we do 
I mean, and, and this was a, a a discussion I think that we're still kicking around is that um, there's a, still a fair bit of money available for tax title processing that's <coughs> left over from that 35000 that was allocated a number of years ago. We mm -hmm. actually didn't spend most of it. I am. I definitely need to do an advertisement shortly, so okay. probably in the so, next month. So there is funding. Um, there was this assumption that the money we allocated to last year's budget was the only money available. That's not true. There's like $23,000 that was okay. still encumbered at the end of the last fiscal year. So. There's, you know, there's well over twenty-five thousand dollars to deal with any tax title expenses. Okay. So if that question comes up, please let us know. Okay. Good. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Please. Good, Brenda. You're off. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for letting me know about that revolving account thing. I'll yeah. I'll it. It. It's yeah. just too much to keep track and of. And you need envelopes when we come visit you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Proposed numbers are coming out already. Just so you all know, um, first cherry sheet estimate is out. I've got mine from last week. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Um, governor's proposal is the only one that's out so far. Um, for our town, it would be 30000 less for Chapter 70. Great. Most of that because of we're, we're losing some school choice tuition, it looks like. Um, You're not bringing him in? Huh? You're not we're losing him in? because I'm going to ask you guys. I don't, I don't so. know. I'm going to ask you guys um, what you think. General government uh, goes up about $19,000 in allocation, which is probably a direct <coughs> result of the extra money that was spent in the veterans last year. But I need to double check that because we increased our veterans budget and it looks like our veterans benefit is the same as the 2016 cherry sheet estimate which doesn't make any sense um, for a total that's about 15,000 less than what we got last year but we still got to go through the house and the senate and then the final conference committee group but at least we could use the governor's numbers for planning purposes so we're losing thirty thousand in chapter seventy because kids of Lee are, are what graduated. Well, I have or? no idea. I don't know why. It just is. Mm -hmm. it, our 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 receiving school choice tuition is down thirty nine thousand dollars according to this estimate, and chapter seventy in general is up about four thousand dollars. So it's not enough to offset it. But then our, our municipal share of our cherry sheet receipts is up just a little bit. It's up like 20000 according to the governor's act. All that's going to be subject to change. The House will come out with a different number, the Senate will come out with another number, and then all of them will get together at the last minute and come up with one number. Usually it aligns, I think, with the House. Um, they, have, they usually get the most time to fight it out. So did, um, what's the situation with the, um, uh, the funding for the fields? I'm just thinking of Brimfield, same thing. Brimfield still had, 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 a vote. had to take a vote. Does anybody know? What's that? Whether they did voted Brimfield for it. Brimfield voted on the church. I, I do not know. Could you find out? I will find out. Okay. I will definitely find out. I don't think they have to. Yeah? I don't think they have. 
I'm gonna, I find, I know someone that can tell me, I think, right yeah. now. Here, Gil Mize's phone number? Uh, let's see. I asked on Sunday, and the school committee member hadn't heard yet. Hey, did Brimfield vote yet for the turf? Do you know? They said it looked good, but... I don't know. Did you hear what happened? So you don't know. So they had the meeting already, do you think? Last Monday? How can you find out? I can make a call tomorrow down to Brimfield. We just wanted to know tonight. We'll just, you know. Okay. No, I'm sure she was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was the last Monday? So a week ago today. Okay. All right, thanks. Beth, can you go and see what's the telegram last Monday? See, see up on their website. They had the meeting, I think, last Monday, they thought. It might, it might be on there. Bill had injected? No, nobody knows. Huh. Hmm. So Jim might. Well, Kim Green. Jim. Oh. I'm sure he's all over that. <laughs> 4080. Know what it is? 4080. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I, do, I try to do all my phone numbers on memory. Keep my brain working. Yeah, and when it stops working, you're out of luck. Well, that ain't the right one. My brain wasn't working on that one. It's. Let's I got it. What? Yeah. Um, Someone six, asked six, it. 6171. No. For Jim? It's not a Brookfield number. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm talking about his house number. Well, no. Give me the Let me have the cell phone. Okay. I'm um, thinking. I always call him on his house phone. I'm not putting it out there publicly. No, no, You're no. going to have to copy it. <laughs> I understand. That's his personal phone. You got okay. It? I got it, Marie. You got it? Yeah. I'm not putting that out there. I understand. <laughs> He knows where I live. I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> yes. Mm. Then I'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. I get enough trouble as it is. <laughs> you think? No, I know. Huh. I don't see anything from... Have you got it? Well, it's ringing. I don't have the... House or cell? I I'm doing a cell. Not answering? Oh. Not being answered. <clears throat> I wonder where he is. Charles House. Huh? Charles House. What is it? No. That's what it is, yeah. So Brimfield voted to take no action. Jim, give me a call, please, on the uh, tariff out in Brimfield. It's in there? What does that mean? No, I found it on Facebook, actually. They took no action, you said? Yeah. Brimfield voted to take no action. Oh, jeez. Okay. That sounds like it's this approved. This means then. no it support is needed. That sounds like it's approved. Yep. That's approved. the same as we that did means the same. It moves, yep, it means that it moves forward. Yeah. Okay, there's your answer. Got it. So, yeah. um, so they didn't bring it, I don't think they brought it to the people then. No, take no, no action means that the they're, they're, just, they've, they've decided that it's, same as it's what up we to did. the school right. to make the decision to do it. So. Um, so what about, uh, I thought there was a petition in town to Too late. bring it forward. Too late. Have to do it within 60 days. Within 60 days of what? Of when they first brought it to the, to the town. When, when the selectmen made the announcement. When the school committee did it, they had 60 days from the school committee's meeting. Mm -hmm. And then each town had 60 days to act on it. So by mm -hmm. the time... They said no meeting. You get a petition. It was too late. <clears throat> that's that's. Uh, hmm. So that's what happened there. Yeah. yeah, I checked that out, and that's what happened. Typical. Huh? Typical. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, do we want to have the BEMA, the emergency management guy, come in? His budget's pretty basic. Uh, it's up Is to there you. any change up, from last year? Yeah. A so couple hundred we, bucks here and there. For what? BEMA. I just right, but what's, what's, oh, I'm just, what, what's changed? He well, probably did his that. <coughs> what changed? His agency expenses was oh, the big one. That was 300 bucks. 300. 200 bucks. $315. Yeah, total. You rounded stuff off. Yep. Well, I think that's a stipend. It hasn't been adjusted in years, so. What is the agency expenses? No, the uh, <coughs> um, the salary is the first line, isn't it? One fourteen. Yep. Yeah, it went, up, went up fifteen bucks. Yeah. Well, so so we can we can act on this, or, we, or do you want him to come in? Well, can can somebody just? I mean, it's one thing to. I, I mean, I'd, I'd like is to have he, him come Is in. he subject to the, you know, percentages like everybody else? No, he's not. He doesn't get a he doesn't get a uh, annual cola. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like to have m most people come in if we can. Um, hey. I don't want to say some people, we, we have them come in and other people don't come in, you know what I mean? So are, I mean? But are we making the animal control officer come in? Yes. Okay. She's got a little more in-depth budget, that's the reason, you know. And she's bringing one of her animals, right? Yeah. It'll be show and tell. Show and tell. Uh, so there's only two people on this, right? Peter and him. Yeah, the two, the assistant and him, right? So, so this is I just don't want to. I just don't want to say they don't have to come in, and then everyone else says, well, "Why right, should I come right, in?" Right, right, yeah, makes well, right. I think you, I yeah. think you should get an explanation on the, the increase on the salary. Okay, so we'll have them come in. Okay. Well, and the increases in the expenses. I mean, it only yeah. went up two hundred dollars, but still. Okay. What, what we asked for level funding. Right. So he must have a reason for what he's done. So, yeah. all right, we'll have him come in. I'll get him in here next. Next Monday, we get the highway coming in at, at seven, seven ten. So that may take a good part of the the meeting up. Maybe I'll get someone else to come in as well. Okay. So just keep that keep their budget uh, on tap. Beth, you're going to print off an invite for, for us? Yes, I apologize. I did not print one. Because I wanted to get that one out of the way. Which we could that? just go through line by line, though, David. I mean, honestly, why kill it? And then you can print it. Yeah. Yes, uh, okay. I tell you what, why don't we Advise do that? Advise me. I'm going to do that. Us. Mm -hmm. I'm recusing myself. <laughs> That's funny. So then we want to leave the reserve fund at 25000 yeah, we that's what we put in last year. Reserve fund for the advisor? Hmm? We, 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 we usually set it. the level for the reserve fund. Well, we had 35 oh, last oh. year. No, we had 25 last year. I got 35 year. on this one. We need the thing to like. What did it pass at town meeting? It been 25, shouldn't it? No, just, just looking at this one, there's 35. Did we go down to 25? I thought we went down to 25. <clears throat> all right, so let's all right, so let's discuss it. We want to want to go back to 25. If we question, I think yeah. that's enough. I, we I, haven't used that much. We, we haven't used much at all. We didn't use any this year. Yeah, that's what I mean. And, and last year we only used like I think that's uh, what I'm talking six thousand. Yeah. Great. Because I was going off of let's see the variance report for last year, which would have been the last full year, which was technically 2015. Um, let's see here, where the heck is it? So reserve fund. We used, well, and it was because of the veterans, if you recall, almost all of it went to su to supplement the veterans. Well, that's where we got a lot of it from, right? And, uh, and it was 19, 
thousand five hundred is what we spent that year, but that was before we had already made the adjustment for the additional veterans that we had that were receiving services. So I, I wouldn't expect us to see that type of heavy usage again. Because we know now to budget what we need to budget for those services. Yeah, so we're not going to hit that. We're yeah. not, we won't hit the reserve funding. Well, this yeah. year we won't. So I would say. All right, let's keep it at twenty five. I would say then, put like it at twenty five. Like that. All right, explain to me, please, what we're talking about. Okay, so the reserve fund, in any budget, the one of the dangers that you have is that you may have unexpected expenses, but not something that's appropriate to call a special town meeting over. So say. Trying to think of a for instance, say one of the police cruisers loses an engine, okay, and we don't have the money set aside in the fleet repair replacement account. Okay, there was no way to necessarily project that a vehicle with 80,000 miles was on an engine. So they would come to us for basically the reserve fund is a well controlled slush fund for unexpected expenses. Okay. Okay. So um, w one of the years, a couple years ago, we, we really kind of ratcheted down on some of the expense budgets, but what we did is we did bump up the reserve fund some in order to make sure that if we had ratcheted too far, that we had a we had, some wiggle, room. We had some wiggle room to, to mm -hmm. yeah. deal with it. That particular year, it didn't go to much else, but we had like a doubling of the or I'm quadrupling of the but of the veterans that we were servicing with some pretty heavy duty veterans no, benefits for state yeah. benefits. Mm -hmm. But did we vote that? We usually that? get like I think seventy five percent of that, that back from the state. That's why we don't get it until the following year. So it's basically we're yeah, yeah. loading most of it to the to the state, and then they pay some of it back. But did we vote that? But I prefer to have it not labeled as a slush fund. Well, that has a bad connotation it does to have it, a bad and, it does, and it does have its place in the budget. Think a, I don't think a reserve fund is okay. a slush fund. Well, it's, yeah. it's, 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 unalloc not. it's unallocated money. It's right. Money. I just don't want people to get the wrong <laughs> idea. But it's not allocated for any one person. Right. That's why I don't call it a slush right. fund. Right. That's but the difference. It's having withdrawal. Right, but it's, un <laughs> it's unallocated monies for the town so that we can deal with any type of, like, Emergency. Truly unexpected. It makes right. sense. Extensions. We've changed the name. We're making it. I'm just saying. We're making it the donut account. The donut account. Right. I don't think that. Something falls through the holes. Yeah. We have a. There you go. Account. That's exactly. <laughs> <a, laughs> <a, laughs> that's right. Oh, we did. Call it a bagel account. Okay. Bagel. Yeah. Twenty-five. No, well, we had thirty-five, and they voted twenty-five. We have plain donut account. Okay. Now the veteran services is what, like uh, bur bur burial like services and what? Well, no, it's actually it's well, a, it's a whole state of the Unexpected expenses. I can't think of it off the top right. of my head. There's but there's a whole yeah, okay. slew of like yeah. housing medical support oh, okay, services okay. and stuff that the state of Massachusetts. You go down to five, you have to call a town meeting for something that take care of. We don't want to do that. No way. The big, the big draw on the reserve last year was the uh, veterans. Veterans, right. so veterans. Right, that's yeah. what I was saying. I remember that well, because he had a couple more guys come on board. Yeah. And then he jumped his and his, his salary. We, we put his salary. And then we asked him for information. He wouldn't bring. What kind of information? How is what he was doing? Uh, about, about the uh, how we how we come up with the figures and stuff like that. We come back and he wouldn't. He says, I can't give names and stuff like that. No, yeah. But but if you figure it out, look at what the town paid out in the town warrant, it tells you right who, who it was. <laughs> All right, how about line 270, our expenses? Looks, uh, line 270? Yeah. You have a copy? I don't like, have a copy. I thought I gave everybody one last year. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I thought you were going to have it. And thought it's thought last year, so I didn't, no, I, didn't, I didn't make a new one. I'm not I'll killing a tree for from, it. We can talk about I'll it. I'll give you one from last year. Or the year before. What have we got? Four vehicles that they want to put on this lot so far. <coughs> They, What's that? We got four vehicles in one car on this one. So far. Okay. 
catch them on. Uh, well, we got police chief's car and the fire chief's car, and we got the water department. And what's the fourth one? Truck. Fire truck. That's what you wrote. That's not the forestry one, is it? No, we don't care. That's all set. Well, he wanted to put 200. Uh, didn't he want to put two? We should discuss that. We should discuss the that. The only reason I'm saying that is you want to watch your reserve fund because if these vehicles, they get what they want, that's one thing. But if they don't get what they want, then we have some trouble there. And that's not counting anything else that might come up. Okay, so we're talking the police police vehicle? Yeah, police chief. Police chiefs. And the fire chiefs. Yeah, and a water truck. Water truck. The water truck won't come out of the truck. Now, the one that the fire department brought to us, you wanted to put 200 into an account. Hold on, water truck doesn't come out of? The water truck comes out of the water department. It yeah. doesn't come out of the It won't come out of the... It won't come out of stabilization or free cash. Well, the coffer. Because he said, he was saying he has 100,000. Mm -hmm. In his, uh, yeah. but to move it, you still have to go through town meeting. Sure, but that's not going to affect what but we're I doing. Want to pick a budget. So, so that's that's budget. only three vehicles. Where's the fourth? So that brings us down to two. I think the fourth one you're referring to is he wanted to take two hundred thousand and put it into an account, right? Is that what he wanted to do? That's what Peter wanted to do. For a fire truck, to towards a fire truck, right? Well, he's not saying that. <laughs> well, he's saying into the fleet account. Um, okay, you know something, going in there for. something came up when I was talking to someone from another town. Uh, they were talking about the town that they're in, which is a rather large town, but they have a lot of um, big projects going on, millions of dollars. And one recent one for them was they purchased a fire truck. And lo and behold, it didn't fit into their firehouse. The same thing happened in okay. Shrewsbury. Well, we're, we're going to not let that happen, I would hope. Okay, that's something that we need to be. It sounds like a silly minor thing. No. Just to, you know, but wait a minute. Oh, we got this big truck and it doesn't fit in the fire station. Uh oh, now we have to build a new fire that's thing. Exactly what and, that's, in and that's baloney. We need to make sure that that's addressed when, if and when the time comes, which I'm sure it will at some point, that we need to purchase another. Well, we had a problem with the other truck we bought. The last truck. Oh, it's just a lot of truck. No, that truck was the uh, suspension was too low. It's still too low. It's too low. And it's, that's a city truck, and we need a country truck. There's mm -hmm. a big difference. Yeah, and that's well. Well, this is a little bit different. But Bob, a lot of times they'll get a truck bigger than the firehouse, so they get a new firehouse. Th then I'm not. Yeah. I'm just. No, well, I'm just what, saying somebody. I know a town who has lived through that brought that up to me and said, "Watch for that." Mm -hmm. So, you know, consider yourself forewarned. I know right where it is. <laughs> we'll be out there with a tape measure. Well, Before it's purchased. I worked there. Okay, so advisory committee expenses level funded at five hundred. Yeah, I have I don't think we're gonna have any clerk So we've gotta get a name tag for Bob. That's yeah, okay. that's four fifty right there. So clerk salary at 500 and warrant books, we kept it under budget, correct? We didn't blow the budget last year? No. We'll probably keep the same printer again. In North if, he'll still, if he'll still deal with us after how long it took to get him paid last time. Well, I kind of talked to him and I talked to him personally and smoothed him no, over no, and told him what happened. Sure. And Everybody's done. I took the blame for it, so. You're a good man. Yeah. On that. So hopefully he'll. I think he was. He, he'll be all right with us. Well, <clears throat> if you're not going to change the uh, from nine to seven, you should have nine there, and even if you wrote something in the last minute. What's this? I don't remember. The, the hold up. You only ordered. Just the amount. I'm just ordering. Yeah, I already ordered. Well, I just got to get one for him. I'm ordering as people come on. Yeah. I don't order the holders. I just order the holder and the name at the same time. Yeah. But once I get nine holders, then next time I'll just order the name tag. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I already got Yeah. Okay, so I'll make a motion that we level fund everything for our committee from last year. Does someone want to make a second on that? I'll second. 
All in favor? And the reserve fund was 25000 last year at the town meeting. Right, so it, it was state. That's what yeah. we voted at the town meeting, right? Yep. But I think we put in 30, someone, no, we didn't, we put 25 in? Okay. So we're going to put 25 in this year. Okay. I think when we filled out the sheet, it was at 35000 and then by the time we went we to got the town done. meeting, we, we took it to twenty five. That's right, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I think happened. Okay. So now when you print this up, Beth, it just, you, you'll be, it'll be easier to be all printed. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I just filled it in on the main budget sheet, but I'll blow it up big and it'll look just like this. But another issue with the warrant book was to, uh, that came up was having the um, advisory board's recommendations for. No, I know. Um, It'll say advisory board. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure that says it in this book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we were also talking when Bruce was here about, okay, now you got a department that wants to put in, I don't know, were they talking about putting it in the warrant? What they what, want. What the, what, the, what the objection what, yeah. is is that is that like for multiple years there's been submissions by say fire to actually start paying the the firefighters for showing up to calls, mm -hmm. and that because it's getting stopped at this committee, mm -hmm. it doesn't get communicated to the townspeople that that request has even gone in. Okay, so would that be put in under department request, and then? But I mean, it, I don't think it necessarily has to be a column. I mean, when it comes, you know how you have the individual articles. Well, this is the advisory board's book, so this is the advisory board's recommendation. Right, but I'm talking and that's about what we're in gonna, relation right, to. So we're not going to make. So what you're saying? Not yeah, the board of select. We're not putting another line in. Is that what you all want to do? No. Well, well I'm, a column. I should say a that's column. That's not the selectman's book. That's the no, I understand board. that. I I'm wondering book. if we can put it in, you know, like in italics, rather than adding a column. Right. Which seems to be a problem with the format when it comes to printing it. There's not enough room I think we to, include, to include everything. I think so. we just leave it the way it is myself. No, you, you don't you want to get two, two. You don't want two columns. Well, I'm just, I'm just, just I'm, yes. Yeah, I'm just addressing it. I agree. But, but we will discuss we, that more when we get down to the. Are we going to have the column with the percentages? You know, that's very easy for people to follow. I think we should. You, you go. When people get to town meeting, you know how confusing the town meeting so is. So what do you want to do? I mean, put one, two, three, all, you want to put different columns at the percentages? Just put the percentage of, on the end of the thing. Have a column for percentages and put your percentages in there of how, how it's changed. I think we should. What do you guys all think? It's very simple for people to pick up, oh wow, there's a change. And then you're also going to put in what the advisory committee recommends, vis-a-vis mm -hmm. mm -hmm. -vis whatever they. Yes. No, no, they're not going to put in what they're saying is they don't. It's that it's the advisory committee's document, and mm -hmm. that as a group, that there is no interest in including what the department had submitted oh, okay. as part of the information provided in the advisory committee's booklet. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you. That's what you were just discussing as another column in the warrant book, yep. correct? That's what I was discussing. It sounds like there's no interest in doing that. Well, I just, I think it'd be more confusing. But I do think we should do the percentages. Zero, one, two, three, half. Well, what if we only do a half a percentage? How many columns are we going to have, Barbara? You just have the one column. Okay. But let's just say... You know, as you're going down, like... You're not going to have one person 2%, another person 4%. No, 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 I'm just saying if, if we decide to go... If, if we just when we if, who, if we decide what we want to do or what everyone wants to do, maybe we get on the floor and they go up, and it's you not enough. You put what we advise. Okay. Well, last Period. year, last year we yeah. all the whole and board agreed on one point seven. And then they get up and they correct it. But if you put down like say we say you know there's a two percent change here, and then or half a percent, or people see whatever, but and then people see that. Okay. That's what we advise. And then when they get up on the floor and they say, well, we want 3%, they've got the percentage right there in front of them. And it's just like with their budgets or their expenses or whatever. You see that percentage, so you, you see that percentage right at the end there that says, well, their expenses have gone up 6%. And people, well, why? 
You know, but when you have all these just figures here, and you get to town meeting, and you know how town meetings are, everybody's talking, everybody's... No, no, they don't have time to analyze anything. They don't anything. have time to analyze anything, but when they see that percentage at the end, they say, wow, this one went up 6%. Why did it go up 6%? Well, they might hone in on anything that's over 7 for our arguments. But what if happens if we haven't voted on that certain percentage? How many columns are we going to put in there? I understand that. So we're saying what we recommend only. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's say that let's say it goes up whatever. The people aren't gonna be able to figure out how much more that is off the cuff without seeing it in the warrant book. You know what I'm saying? How much dollars does that amount to? Let's say we recommend a half percent and it goes up two percent. People aren't gonna if we don't have it in the book, they're not gonna see what two percent well, is. Well it'll be there. You wanna put half because because it's gonna already be there what was and then what they requested, right? Yeah, it depends how we do it in the book, yeah. You want a breakdown though in the column so people can a actually analyze it just by looking at it quickly. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'll bring you in the book. All right, I know, I, know what you, I know what you're I'll saying. I know what I'm saying. I'll bring you in the book that's got okay. it in. We'll have a breakdown on what we decide mm -hmm. to do, okay. We used to do it that way, and then all of a sudden they stopped doing it that way. And no, I think we should so people just, can see it right I off just, the bat. Yeah, I just don't think people, like I say, they come into the meeting and half of them are there and they've already been told how to vote before they even get there. And then they get in there and... Well, we do know, that. If people in front of it and, you know, then they can look at the book and say, well, maybe I should think about this a little bit. But we did that on the budgets, over the overall budget we do that, the percentage, mm -hmm. which is helpful. But you want to do it just strictly on the I'll salary? I'll show you. Okay. I'll bring the book in. I know, I know what you want to do. Okay. I think we should do the salary and the budget. Mm -hmm. Percentages increase. Mm -hmm. Okay. That way they, they don't have to figure it all out, because they right. won't. They don't have time. No, well, who's going to analyze tw all, all, these, all these line items, you know? So. Well, it's the last part of the budget to find out huh? how much is it going to do with articles and everything else. Huh? All right. So next, I think next week we should dis we will have the highway come in and we'll discuss. We can discuss the fire department's budget again because we didn't discuss that. Now I talked to the personnel board. And what they said was they were not discussing the step and grade, they were discussing job descriptions. So what he told us, I don't know where he got what he told us, but that's not what they told me. So we're going to have to figure out the numbers. Do you understand that? No. Well, step where we have to figure out no, the step somebody, and grade? No, they're, they're not working on that right now. They're working and they said it's not going to be ready by the time we do the budget. So you're going to look They're working on the job descriptions. That's phase one. That has to be, yeah. Right. And, yeah. and then I says, well, are you doing this step of grade and this and that and the dollar and the, and the uh, increase in the uh, minimum wage? And they said, no. By the time you get done, you, you, you won't have it. We won't have it for you. And the thing so we're going to have to so there's, so there's a couple of different things we need to sort out. The right. first one is, is That's are, are we going to allow them to budget for paying for calls? Mm. So you're gonna you're gonna love them on what they did last year, and and if we give them a call, it's gonna be according to the last year's figure. Okay, but what what about no? What? But I mean I mean that's that's the question. I mean so what you and I just said those are really the the, the two options we have at this point. Discussions is, we get is have. either we're gonna level fund from last year and just do a cola, or we're gonna at least consult with the board of selectmen about. You know, does anyone here know how many other on-call departments within the state of Massachusetts don't pay for calls? Does anybody know the answer to that question? Are they coming up with a dollar amount on a changing of job descriptions? No, they were coming up with a dollar amount on a changing of the fiscal policy about whether to pay the, the on-call firefighters as on-call uh, firefighters instead of only paying them for training. That's the question. And if we're going to do that, there's, there's two different adjustments that need to occur. Is one, we can't just go with the COLA because when the pay, when the minimum wage changes within this financial, within this fiscal year, it's greater than a 5% raise for most of our firefighters. Most of them are currently paid below 
what the state minimum wage is going to be. Okay, so the first step is, is we need to understand how many hours, and this is something the treasurer could probably give us, is how many hours have we paid firefighters? Not, not dollars, but hours. How many hours have we paid firefighters? Okay. And if we have. And, and if, and how many people we have that are currently on call firefighters whose pay is below what the state minimum wage is going to be. Okay, below. but what, oh, well then, then, then what you would do is you would just, Raise them to the state minimum wage. Okay. Then that's one. That's, that's one, what right. you do, and that's whatever. That's one angle we can. Right, go but, but we can't just flat budget it to the, the what they've been paid plus Last COLA year. because right. that's not going to get some of them to minimum wage. Then we got to find out too. You you have okay, to raise the them to min, We just raise them to minimum wage. Why make it complicated? They're making below minimum wage. The state minimum wage has changed. They weren't get paid all before. Well, so, no, but no, but so so then that's the second question: is mm -hmm. are we going to start paying for calls? Well, if we do, it would be minimum wage. Even if we start. don't, it's going but, to be but that minimum wage, is which is still going to be more than probably whatever cola we set. Is what my point is. I but don't that, think that's I don't think that's our purview to decide if we're going to pay. I think that's just up to the selectmen. You would have to pay minimum wage at least. Right. If you so that, that we the know. selectmen yeah. are going to say it's an advisory committee question. Well, then, then and when we're they going to say it's a selectmen. Let's question. see what they say after. The, let's throw it to the selectmen, and if they say that, then. So, so I make a motion that we toss that over right. the fence to the selectmen to determine whether they want to go move to paying the firefighters. And I, I think that's call. a discussion the fire chief should have with the selectmen. Okay, the motion is to... Before it gets brought into this are we, are we overstaffing the fire department? That I don't know. Well, the thing is, what do you have to do with anything? Well, when he was talking, because... That's dollars. That's going to affect your budget, how many right. people show up. If you've got, I don't know how many people... He said 24. He, say? he said about 24. 24. On call, which is about right, because you're not going to get more than 50% of them for a call, and you need generally. If you get 15, you better be, better be happy. Well, if you got 10 or 12, <coughs> it's more regular, is what you right. get. Yeah, 15. Yeah. But time, will that great. increase because they're being paid? They don't show up because they're getting. I don't know. I paid. don't know. I'm throwing it out there. I'm I, I doubt it. Question. I, I think I, I I don't see that being a. Right, so your motion is to yeah. ask the board don't, don't, don't do a motion yet. Well, hold well, on. Yeah, because we're going to add to this. Okay, fine. Okay. We've got a few things to ask the selectmen, basically. I don't think we should. I, I think what you got to do is you got to wait for this, was it what the Wage and Control Board to call it? I think you have to let them go through their whole process first. They got it. They started the phase one is going to be job descriptions. Right. Then the phase two is then put the job descriptions and come up with a salary base or whatever step it is. Step and grade thing. Step and grade thing. Then you can make a decision about what's happening with whether you're paying them for call or, or not or whether you're going to also pay them for... You but they're not going to be done before June. I they know that, and that, but, that, but we know that already. Right. That's not going to be in this year's so budget. So then you roll it year. over to the fall meeting. It may not even be done by then. Well, it should be. Okay, because so what's going to happen? What's going to happen is we start throwing, letting the selectmen do whatever they whatever they're going to do, and right. and start paying them for this and paying them for that. In the end, yet the waging the waging whatever the hell the damn committee is finishes all their work personnel and in, personnel and is in direct conflict mm -hmm. with what, what we're now we're paying them. That's right. right, absolutely. So right. you're putting the cart before the horse. You gotta you gotta let them go through their whole process first, then see how it shakes out. With right. step and grade, but they're, but and they're all going to they're all going to punt, point, all gonna punt back to us to that. find out whether well, that's or not fine, the town but has least, the cash But to at do least it. we go back to the original premise we had before: is now we're working off a standard of which to make a recommendation one way or the other, and not just shooting from the hip like the group did before and say, "Well, that's too much money. Let's cut them." What would you base that on? Well, you said basically hours. Eight, for now, right. they used hours, but the hours you, you want involved. something, you want but more something. A, but that's a salary. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know that. They weren't want... shooting from the hip. They were deciding how much actual work was right. being well, done in the course. from the hip. Right. But the fact <laughs> that, but I, I would still, and I think we all would, let's work off a standard so we're consistent all across the board and not just making decisions, you know, <coughs> At the spur of the moment, that's all. I think you have but to we need to make sure that they're getting at least minimum wage doing training. That's fine. That's fine. Doing their training out there. Fine. 
That's one. I mean, that's that, that at least they you could do. Have to, but if right. you start making yeah. a policy change about whether you're going to pay them, we know we're paying them for training. Whether we're going to pay them for call, that's up to the selectmen. I, I know that, but I right. really still think you have to give the other committee a chance. Well, that's why I said I'm going to throw it over. That's why I said we're going to throw it to the selectmen first. That's all. All right. That's what I said. We can't. We can't. That's not our purview. I don't think, unless they say it is. But. I think, the, like I said before, the fire department and the selectmen should get together on that, and then, then and then theoretically, phase three might be is throw it back at us and say, right. "What is our recommendation?" Right. But at least we have a we have a job description and we have uh, paying benefit, whatever the damn whatever the thing step is. And step, step and grade. Step and grade. Step and grade to bounce off of and then make right. a decision as to what you're going to do. But you don't have, we don't have all the information. But I don't but think they go by know. step and grade. grade wouldn't they don't apply have, to a no, it doesn't. They situation, don't. I don't think. Yeah. I, well, I'd like to, say, personally, I'd like to see what they come up with first. Before we go. Before right. we start going on. Well, that's why I say it's got to go to the right, right. select board first. Not us. Unless you're writing the check. Do you want to have the secretary formally communicate to the fire chief and recommend you take it up with the selectmen? Because I would. Get that all done? You get all that, Mimi? She ran out of ink and a pen. No, I didn't. I'll, I'll, I'll run it by um, the, I'll tell the fire chief what we had a short discussion on his budget and tell him to go talk to the selectmen on it. And I will also tell the selectmen our conversation as well. And let them too. Hey, sure. Let them decide that. It's not our purview, you know, saying we're going to pay for calls. That's it's, fine. You but agree? let's make, I, I agree, but let's, yeah. let's communicate to both parties. I just said they that. ought to talk to. I yeah. just said that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Keep ourselves out of hot water. Oh no, that won't do it. Well, we have to try. Well, it will to a degree. Yeah, at least you, on this. They subject. made that decision. <laughs> okay. We got to at least try. I mean, you know, you can't take the plunge. Have a decency on this one. You want to crush your name out? No, I won't do that. I'll, I'll, I'll support Bob. I, 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 mean, I, I just want to know. I'll support anyone. I just want to know what the hell I signed. That's all. At least take it to a vote of the people. <laughs> mm -hmm. How many all more the, names? All that does all that does is put you on the ballot. Anybody? How, about, how many do you need? Well, I got thirty-two names. Just go how many back. need Bob? Twenty. So, do we want to go around the table and do a roulette roulette guess oh, on how much we're going to get back? I turned it into roulette twenty. Oh, all right. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. I have I don't know what the figures are, so I'm not gonna. Okay. Um. Ready for select men? Who me? Mm-hmm. Hell no. I keep. I'm gonna get his papers filled out for him, and I'm just gonna get his signature. <coughs> okay. She really last doesn't one. like you, Bob. Okay. She don't like you. I thought you would. I thought um, you would. Does anybody know when the whole conversation began? I mean, I can call and find out uh, about the um. The turfs at Tentasco, you know. What, what's the question? When the whole thing began, you know, we had the issue of the 60 days and there not being enough time mm -hmm. for a petition to come forward. So, do we have any idea, or is it okay if I call over there and find out? I got it somewhere. You when the it. whole thing started? I got it. I got it too somewhere. You can talk if you want. Um, oh. So is that when the school committee voted to go vote. forward? Is that what we're I talking about? January. When the school committee voted to go forward on this phase, not the mm -hmm. 2008 thing, the, the current time, right? Right. From that, that, from when they took that vote, they notified all the towns from that time on is 60 days. That's, that should be the date, right? There you go. Right there. December 15th. Okay. Okay. That brings them to February 15th, right? Right. And you know, so, so time, what? You, time you advertise and... But you've got you to hold a meeting to for your registers. Register voters. So people can register to vote. Yes. And, and all this time that... That has to be done in a certain number of days before. So many days and so forth. The time ran out. It's a long I wonder, process. I wonder how I many days with Linda, before. I checked with Linda. To say. Right, but I would still so be they would have had to know this done by February 15th, according mm -hmm. to the 60-day rule. Yep. Yes. And they haven't done even half part of the pieces that no. are required? No. And they and there's no way they could get it done by the 15th? No, no way. Okay, I just saw that. And then you have to advertise for a special town meeting. That takes so many days. Right, right. It, it, by that time, we'll be, wouldn't that bring us into the end of March almost, huh? 
Right, well, you maybe. Well, I don't know if I wrote it on there. But what is that going to do with anything? So what? No, no, no. I'm saying about the, the peti I'm talking about having the petition. A yeah, the petition. So in other words, they were not as organized as we thought they were organized. That's correct. What do you mean? What? The petitioners were not as no, organized. The, the, the opposition right. was very right. vocal, but they were not organized right. enough they to know, know that they had to, that they the had to go through all Procedurally, the Procedurally, they, they weren't aware of they, what they needed to they, step through. That's right. If they yeah. wanted to do that, they should have got the petition before the selectmen decided to right, do right. anything right. and say, "Hey, listen, this is what we want. We want a town meeting," and they didn't do that. So the selectmen just voted on their own, and then they had a hearing that we were at, and they could have presented a town. They could have presented a hefty petition on that night too. But if they did, that would still be too late. They had to do it right away. When the selectmen and there's no other way that they could challenge anything now. Is it sort a of recourse? Like I don't think there well, is. Well, what about at town at town meeting? Does it no? Because the board of selectmen voted to not let to, it go. Not to have right. a town. Yeah. Meeting. Not to have a town meeting. But is there another process recourse? that they could do an end run on or something like that? I, not that I know of. I would no. say no. I don't think so. So what's the recourse you just mentioned? No, I said I not. I don't think there's a recourse. All oh, recourse. Okay. How much did we take out of stabilization at the fall special? Was it was it fifty or sixty? Bobby, how much did we take out of stabilization? You gotta ask me that. How much is left? How was much did we take out at town meeting? Sixteen, I'm just guessing. Sixteen for the fire department. And then they took at the special, they took a little bit more for the truck or something? Well, that was six thousand? For the sixteen five. for the for the gas, right? Yeah, but I'm thinking for the to fix forestry. Yeah. I mean, Wasn't it sixteen was, total? Do we raise and appropriate the rest of it? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, remember we took it out of the audit report. Oh, yeah. the, the, oh that's audit right. Report. Out of my audit. Account. We drained that sucker. <laughs> we had thirty-five in there, right? Thirty-five thousand, and I think we took most of it out of it, right? So, I'm going to ask another question. They're talking about the, the, the turf, not that I want to bring up the whole turf deal, mm -hmm. but the whole argument was based on school choice funding mm -hmm. because of the bond. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we point out, we what do we just say? $39,000 shorted in Chapter 7. Right. So is this, to. is this sort of something we have to be concerned about? That no, because my, chap no, my Chapter 70 that I just read to you yes. is for Brookfield Elementary School and the okay. Chapter 70... <coughs> monies that goes directly to Tantasqua is different. It's different. Okay. So There's two I can, I can check that so one. So the, school, the, you so the elementary school is losing yeah, funding. Actually, no more. Right. So now we're losing 30 grand here and just one of this yeah. thing right on the wall. So it's the <laughs> elementary school that lost No, they still have, they still got to be serving the school choice. Okay. Yeah. And this money you're talking now is coming out of the elementary, not the high school. Okay. Perfect. There's two different, there's two different um, okay. school choice monies. Okay. Just want to make sure we're not overlooking. Didn't them. didn't they come to the board and tell us that they, we were getting school choice nine hundred, and then at the meeting they said one point two. Did I hear that wrong? I thought I heard that too. But the nine point two is what the loan is, right? No, no, no. No, no. He no said, that's two point one. Two point one. But didn't, he, didn't they say that they got nine hundred thousand in school choice, and then when they had the hearing with the selectmen, they said they were getting one point three or one point two. Unless the one that point question at the but end that, of the and they told that, you they get back. But that school, right. the vocational. Yeah, that, the right. tech, the tech brought. Yeah, I the believe tech, the tech brought count. up to one point five. But I asked that question at this meeting, and he said both of them together was nine hundred, nine hundred and twenty. I think he told us. Well, no, he was no, so excited that night at this so. point, he was throwing more numbers around than uh, you and I going to Foxwoods. You know, I was following him. I know what I heard. All right, uh, it's 9 o'clock. Are we all set? Yeah. I make a motion we adjourn. I okay. second that. All in favor? Right. And I will have a copy of the printout. Oh, oh, next meeting. Monday. Is it, is it, is it posted? No. All right, post, uh, post the next four Mondays. We can do. There's the one, there's a holiday in there. It's the 15th is, is the holiday. It's a holiday. There's a Thursday. So maybe. put a Thursday, put a Thursday in there. There is one. You must have Can we all Chairman, come? you know I'm not here next week, okay? Right. Uh -oh. But we you discussed that heavily before you came uh -oh. in. Uh -oh. that. But you can video conference me, I'll be. Yeah, and actually that's perfect. Pool, in the hot tub. It is. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no.